Well, hello there, girls and guys. It is Children's Week, so I'm going to show you how to get the achievements, the title, and the pets. First, I'm going to show you on the human and Draenei and Oracle side for the Alliance, and then I will show you the, for the Horde Orc and Blood Elf Orphans and the Wolvar Orphan in the next video. So your best case scenario is to be a mage with the ability to teleport to Old Dalaran, or to be with a mage who can portal you to Old Dalaran, or you can be high enough to be able to set your hearthstone to the shrines in Pandaria so that you can use the portals there, or finally you could be able to be at least 98 and use the portals in New Dalaran. Now make sure that before you do anything else, you start on School of Hard Knocks achievement because it can take a while between queue times and trying to actually complete the different battlegrounds and arena challenges. It can take a while, so make sure that you start on that early. Also make sure that you always have your orphans out because it would be really disappointing if you go through all the trouble of doing an achievement and then you figure out that your orphan wasn't out and it didn't count and you have to do it all over again. So the next thing I need you to do is set your hearthstone to the to Pandaria so that you can use the portals there or to New Dalaran so you can do the portals there. Also from the auction house at any time you can do this, buy a tasty cupcake, a delicious chocolate cake, and um, the strawberry ice cream. You can also get the strawberry ice cream off of a vendor that's in Stormwind or Orgrimmar, depending on which one you're doing this in. <laughs> so step one is to start out in Stormwind, pick up the quest Children's Week, turn that in and get the Human Orphan. Then you're going from the Human Orphan, going to accept Cruising the Chasm, the biggest diamond ever, and Malfurion has returned. Step two is to fly over to Westfall to Sentinel Hill. You're going to take your human child on the chopper ride and it's for cruising the chasm. This is pretty cool. It's automatic. You don't have to drive anywhere. It just does it for you. And while you're going along, your little human child makes all kinds of funny little comments along the way. So enjoy the ride. When you're done with your chopper ride, you can turn that in if you want. But now you need to have your human child out while you do five dailies. They can be fishing, cooking, pet battles, whatever you can find. And this gives you the achievement daily chores. Step four is to portal over to Iron Forge. If you're not a mage, you can fly or use the front tram. And you're going to take your child all the way underneath to the throne room to complete the quest, the biggest diamond ever. Now just have him out and as soon as you run up the stairs, it'll just be an autocomplete thing. Step five is to start on getting your Jernai Orphan. So you're going to portal over to Shatrath if you're a mage, otherwise you can from Ironforge take the portal to Hellfire Peninsula and fly over to Shatrath. Then you're going to pick up the quest Children's Week. Turn in that quest and get your Draenei Orphan, and then accept Arkandun and the Ring of Observance, a trip to the Dark Portal, and Jill is at Ares Landing. Step 6 is to fly over to Nagran to Ares Landing and let the Draenei child reunite with her brother Jill. Step 7 is to fly over to Terracar Forest. Now if you are or with a mage, you can save some time by porting over to Shatrath and then flying over, but anyway you need to take your Draenei child to the Ring of Observance and it'll just be an autocomplete if you have her out when you get there. Step eight is to fly over to Hellfire Peninsula. If you're a mage, you can save some time by portaling over to Stormwind and then use the portal there to Hellfire. Take your Draenei child to the Dark Portal. Step nine, turn in those quests and accept the Draenei Kid quest, the Seed of the Nairu, in time to visit the caverns. For step 10, you can use your Hearthstone anywhere for this to count for the achievement Home Alone. But um, since I want you to go to Pandaria or New Dalaran anyway, just go ahead and make sure your Hearthstone is set for there. Portal over to Darnassus and take the human child up the ramp to see Malfurion for the quest Malfurion has returned. From Darnassus, you're going to just use the portal over to the Exodar. And then you're going to take your Denai child down the long ramp to the Seat of the Nauru. This is step 12. 
Then from Oros, you're going to accept the quest All on the Far Seer. And you're going to go back up the ramp and turn that in. Step 13 is to portal to Old Dalarand in Northrend. If you're not a mage, go ahead and use your Hearthstone to Pandaria and use the portal there. And you can pick up the quest Little Orphan Rue of the Oracles. Now turn that in and talk to the matron. And then from Rue, you're going to accept the biggest tree ever, the Bronze Dragon Shrine and Playmates. Now you can only do either Rue or Kekik. You cannot do both on the same character in the same year. So choose wisely. But I'm going to show you in this video the Oracle and then in part two, I'll show you the Wolvar. Step 14 is to fly over to Howling Fjord and go to Utgard Keep. Now this is a dungeon and hopefully you'll be high enough level to just be able to solo it and get it done super fast, but if you're not you can go ahead and queue for it if you're at level. And all you have to do is to defeat the final boss and you have to make sure that your human child is out at the time that you defeat him, otherwise it doesn't count. So do make sure that he's out with you and this gives you the achievement. Hail to the king, baby. <laughs> Gotta love references. <laughs> Step 15 is to fly over to Grizzly Hills to visit Grizzlemaw. Now go all the way to the bottom inside the tree with your oracle orphan for the biggest tree ever. Step 16 is to fly over to Dragon Blight. Take your oracle orphan to see the dragon skeleton, the bronze dragon shrine. Step 17 is to fly over to Borean Tundra to the Winterfin Retreat. Let your Oracle Orphan play with all of his little friends for playmates. Step 18 is to fly or port back to Old Dalaran. Turn in the quest to the Oracle Orphan and accept the Dragon Queen and meeting a great one. Now, there is an alternate step 18. If you've done the quests that give you the portal between Sholzar Basin and Angora Crater, you can go ahead and use that in order to get over to where you need to do the quest meeting the Great One with your Oracle Orphan. Um, and then after that, you would fly over to the Caverns of Time for the Draenei Orphan's quest, time to visit the caverns, and then you'd go back to Old Dalaran and skip ahead to step 22. But if those aren't available to you, then go ahead and move forward with the next few steps instead. For step 19, while you're in Dalaran, buy the treats for the bad example achievement that I've listed on your screen. All the other treats you can get off the auction house. For step 20, go upstairs to the Violet Citadel and go through the portal to the Caverns of Time. Ride the dragon all the way to the bottom and let your Jirnai child meet the huge dragon. And then from the quartermaster that's right near there, buy a toy dragon with your Jirnai child out. This finishes the quest, time to visit the caverns. Step 21 is to fly to Angora Crater to Shaper's Terrace. With your Oracle Orphan, you're going to do meeting a great one. Step 22 is to port back to Old Dalaran in Northrend, or you can use your Hearthstone and take the portal from Pandaria. You're going to go up to the top of Wimra's Temple. Oh, you can also get there from New Dalaran through the portal. And you're going to take your Oracle Orphan to meet Alex Straza for the Dragon Queen. Step 23 is to portal or fly back to Old Dalaran and accept the quest, A Trip to the Wonderworks. Step 24, you're going to go into the Wonderworks toy store and buy a small paper Zeppelin. Now make sure that you buy the Zeppelin itself, not the Zeppelin kit. Then you're going to throw the paper Zeppelin to your Oracle Orphan for A Trip to the Wonderworks. Step 25 is to accept back to the orphanage and return Rue. You'll receive him as a pet in the mail. Step 26 is from Old Dalaran, use the portal to Stormwind. Or you can just port there yourself if you're a mage. Step 27 is to go to the auction house in Stormwind and buy the items the tasty cupcake, delicious chocolate cake, and the strawberry ice cream. You can also cook some of these items or you can get the strawberry ice cream from the vendor in Stormwind. Step 28, in front of the human kid, eat all seven treats for the achievement, bad example. Delicious chocolate cake, tasty cupcake, strawberry ice cream, red velvet cupcake, Dalaran brownie, Dalaran donut, lovely cake slice. Once you've eaten all seven of these treats, you'll get bad example. 
Step 29 is while you're in Stormwind, go to the Mage Quarter, and from your human child, accept Let's Go Fly a Kite and You Scream Ice Cream. Step 30 is from Han's Cold Hearth, buy a cone of cold, eat and share it with your human child. At least you're sharing this time. <laughs> Step 31 is from Craggle Wobbletop, who wanders around the exterior of the trade district, buy a dragon kite to pack and fly the kites with your human child. Step 32 is accept a Warden of the Alliance and buy a foam sword rack for your human child, and then take the child back to the orphanage and choose your pet reward. You'll get the achievement, aww, isn't it cute? Step 33 is to portal back to Shatrath. If you're not a mage, go ahead and use the portal from Stormwind to Hellfire Peninsula and then fly over to Shatrath, accept the quest back to the orphanage, turn that in, relinquish your Draenei child, and choose your reward. Step 34 is to finish that pesky School of Hard Knocks achievement, definitely the hardest of all. And again, make sure that your human child is out when you do it, otherwise it will not count. You'll have to do it all over again. Once you finish that, that is all of the achievements that you need and you will get the achievement for the children. This gives you the title matron or patron depending on your gender, as well as you've probably gotten three pets. You can repeat these on multiple characters on both Horde and Alliance to earn all six of the pets, as well as the Vulvar and the Oracle. And thanks for watching and don't forget to watch for the Horde Orc and Pled Elf Orphans and the Wolvar Orphan in the next video. Bye!